Hi everyone, welcome back to Miss Allison's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making butterscotch haystack cookies. It's a recipe from my childhood that reminds me of when I was a kid. Uh, basically, you take Chinese noodles, butterscotch, peanut butter, and peanuts and mix them all together. You have to melt the butterscotch chips first, and so we'll get started with that. Um, I'm going to make half a normal recipe today, but I will give you the full recipe. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a, a can, another can of the Chinese noodles at the store today, so I have some left over from last time when I made it. So we're going to use that, and I will use one half cup of butterscotch chips, and I will also put in a quarter cup of peanut butter. And I'm actually going to need to get a smaller spoon because this is a small cup. Oh, or maybe I can just use my spatula. That's perfect. Then we're going to put that in the microwave for a short while. Probably like 30 seconds to a minute. Maybe I'll do a minute and then mix it and see how it is. And once it's all melted and mixed, we'll add the rest of the ingredients, which are just peanuts and the Chinese noodles. Just make sure all of that peanut butter is in there because you want that peanut butter flavor with the butterscotch. There we go. I'm going to put that in the microwave and melt it down. Now, if you have a recipe from your childhood that you would like for us to try or make, or you would like to share it on our Facebook page, you're more than welcome to do that with this post. I would like to see how your butterscotch haystacks came out and or you can suggest something else for us to try. And let me just check on that and see if it's melted. Not quite 100% melted yet. It looks like it needs to be mixed up. The peanut butter definitely is, but the butterscotch needs some more. So, probably like a minute, minute and a half. There's a couple of things that remind me of my childhood, and one of them are the butterscotch haystacks. I used to make Toll House cookies, they were called Toll House cookies. You didn't call them chocolate chip cookies back then. Uh, that was another thing. I'm trying to think of anything else that I used to make a lot of when I was a kid. Uh, that's, those are basics. Well, brownies, of course, but we always used Duncan Hines brownies uh, out of a box. They make homemade brownies back then. Not that I can remember anyway. One of the best tools in my kitchen is really my Pyrex mixing container because you can melt anything in it. The handle never gets too hot. And it looks like this is just about melted. Look at that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add, put those back in. I'm gonna add in a half a cup of peanuts. And I'm gonna add in a cup of Chinese noodles. Now you don't want the big thick Chinese noodles, you just want these kind of like wiggly little noodles that look like this. My dog is barking outside, so just ignore her. <laughs> She's okay. It's a bright sunny day, it's beautiful out. This is actually a good recipe to make too in the, in the summertime because it's not too hot to make. So what you're gonna do is mix that all up. And you're gonna take it by spoonfuls and put it on a parchment lined cookie sheet. Now this is probably just gonna make about 12 haystacks, but if you did the full recipe, it would make quite a bit more. And what I like to do is I like to put it in the fridge or freezer to kind of make it. So I'm just gonna take them and kind of do that. If you get little crumbs on the edges, it's okay. And it should all hold together as you go along. 
and I will come back with the end result to show you. It's pretty good. Very butterscotchy and peanutty too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a few more of these Chinese noodles. It looks like I could use a little bit more. So let's add a more, more crunch to it. The best thing about these is they're crunchy and sweet and salty all at the same time. So they're really good. So I'm gonna keep on doing that. As you can see, I just kind of plopped them down like little haystacks. I did see a recipe um, for Halloween um, haystacks where you could put a little a little pumpkin, a little candy pumpkin on the edge, and it looks really cute. So I'm gonna put those in the fridge, let them cool down and come back and try one. Here we are back with our haystacks, our butterscotch haystacks. They got hard very nicely in the refrigerator and they're definitely edible. I took a bite already because I wanted to try it out. This one over here on the edge with the peanuts, um, they're, it's really good. I like the peanut addition. I'm sorry if you have peanut allergies, this wouldn't be the right recipe for you. But for those of you that love peanuts, peanut butter, anything butterscotchy, this is perfect. Can I try one? Oh, come on in. Mm. My husband's here. He's going to try one. This is one of his favorites. Thank Back you. up a little bit so you can go mm. ahead, try it. Tell me what you think. Love it. <laughs> See, me making the husband happy. Thanks so much for stopping in today. And I hope you have a great day. And make sure if you decide to try this, that you post it along with my recipe so we can see how yours came out. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you create. Thanks so much for joining us today. And I'll see you again soon for our next recipe.